Hello, this is Brendroid. Something that I've always been wanting to do is to read out poetry and completely butcher it with a horrendous accent. Um, so, today I'm going to be reading La Belle Dame Sans Merci by John Keats from my penguin copy. And I'm going to try my best to butcher this. So, here we go. La Belle Dame Sans Merci, a ballad by my mate Johnny. I walk in ail thee, night at arms, alone and palely loitering. The sedge is withered from the lake, and no birds sing. I walk in ail thee, night at arms, so haggard and so woe begone. The squirrel's granary is full, and the harvest is done. I see a lily on thy brow, with anguish moist and fever dew, and on thy cheeks a fading rose, fast withereth too. I met a lady in the maids, full beautiful, a fairy's child. Her hair was long, her foot was light, and her eyes were wild. I made a garland for her head, and bracelets too, in the fragrant zone. She looked at me as she did love, and made sweet maid. I set her on my pacing steed, and nothing else saw all day long. For so long would she bend and sing a fairy song. She found me roots of relish sweet, and honey wild, and manna dew. And sure in language strange she said, I love thee true. She took me to her elfin grot, and there she wept and sighed full sore. And there I shut her wild, wild eyes with kisses for her. And there she lulled me to sleep, and there I dreamed, ah, woe betide, the latest dream I ever dreamt on the cold hillside. I saw pale kings and princes too, pale warriors, death pale they were all. They cried, La Belle Dame Sands Mercy. The Athen Thrall. I saw their starved lips in the gloom, with horrid warning gaped wide, and I awoke and found me here, on the cold hillside. And that is why I sojourn here, alone and palely loitering, though the sedge is withered from the lake, and no birds sing.